It's a resource whose potential has only just been tapped. But how do we harness its energy to power New Jersey into the future? Take this solar storage system in West Caldwell that's attached to a waste treatment facility. The solar facility is providing power to the grid just like it would any other day. The grid is the electrical system that delivers energy to consumers. This solar storage system was built by PSENG, an underwriter of NJTV. During the day, it powers homes in the area, but can help fill the energy gaps when the power goes down. In the event of a power outage, the solar facility will disconnect from the grid and then po provide power to the waste treatment facility and prolong it to operate for an additional week to two weeks. This is one of 12 microgrids the Board of Public Utilities is building through a pilot program studying solar storage. When the grid is out, the microgrid can run. And that's the uniqueness of it. Highland Park is next in line for a solar grid. Gail brill Mittler is the mayor here. Well, Highland Park prides itself on being what we call New Jersey's first green community. Our green initiatives actually started almost two decades ago when we built our buildings and put the solar panels up there. We are committed to a, a greener state and community. How does innovation play a role in all of this? How do we innovate? How do we find new ways to solve old problems? That's a really good question. Um, we need to think about the future. We need to harness all of the wonderful energy that this world, this earth, gives to us without creating more smog, um, greenhouse gases. The microgrid in Highland Park is different from the others in two ways. First, this used to be a landfill that sat as unused space for decades. Second, in the event of a storm, the energy that's stored here will only go to the critical services right here in the town, things like the police and fire station. We're actually turning this previously unusable piece of land into a major research project for solar energy that will benefit not only Highland Park, but the entire state of New Jersey. You're gonna see energy storage, I believe, as a major component and a major initiative as we go forward. Has that been one of the greater challenges of yes. renewable energy? It, it has. And it's a question the state needs to answer in order to reach Governor Murphy's goal of 100% clean energy by 2050. That's where these batteries come in. They can store solar to fill the gaps when sunlight dips. It's sunny out right now. Clouds could come over in a second and the, 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 the solar energy reduces. So there can be rapid changes in the amount of energy that a solar facility generates. With the battery, they're able to discharge and consume energy quickly so that you don't have a rapid change of very little power to a lot of power. Fiordaliso says it's exciting, but also necessary. We have a problem. It's not only a New Jersey problem, it's an Earth problem. But we happen to be a coastal state. And if the sea levels continue to rise, ultimately, there may not be an Atlantic City. I hope that other municipalities in the state of New Jersey start thinking about how we can make this world a better place for everyone. We must address these issues right now. If we want to leave a world for our children and our children's children and future generations, we must not be the problem. We must be the solution. A solution, she says, that'll require the collective effort of everyone. In Highland Park, Joanna Gagas.